Hello, in today's video we will cover 10 signs that you might be a people pleaser. My name is Maria and I welcome you to Maria Coach Me YouTube channel where I will post weekly videos on all things personal development and growth. Do you feel like you give more than you get in your relationships at work or with friends? Many people pleasers confuse pleasing people with kindness. You might say things like, I don't want to be selfish or I just want to be a good person. In small doses, there's nothing wrong with wanting to please important people in your life. It can be really nice to share your time, resources and energy on someone you care about. The trouble comes when you do that with anyone who asks, leaving little left over for you. For many, eagerness to please comes with self-worth issues. This doesn't mean that you go around feeling badly about yourself all the time. Chances are you feel pretty good about all the good things that you do. The issue is that you equate your worth with what you're doing for others. You might think that your worth comes from your acts of service, not from who you are. Because you feel that your value comes from what you do and not who you are, there is a constant drive to do more and be more. That's why you might be terrible at relaxing. You feel bad when you're doing nothing and most of the time things have to be done perfectly. People pleasing can be a serious problem because it prevents you from being authentic and living a fulfilling life. If you're a people pleaser, it might be hard to know for sure what you want from life because you're so used to doing what other people want. This is a hard pattern to break. So, let's look at the signs that you might be a people pleaser. Number one, you're a helper or a fixer. You hate to see anyone hurt, afraid, sad or uncomfortable in any way. And no one likes this, but there is a big difference between being empathetic or mindful or how your behavior influences others and thinking you have the power to make someone happy. The second one can be a serious problem Everyone should be in charge of their own life and emotions. Number two, you rarely say no. Whether you say yes and then actually do it, or you later fa fake an illness to get out of your commitments, you'll never have time to focus on yourself and your dreams if you can't speak up for yourself. Number three, you feel overwhelmed with everything that you have to do because you rarely say no there is a good chance that your to-do list is filled with activities that other people need from you or even with things that you think other people want you to do. Number four, you can't stand someone being mad at you. You automatically think that if someone is mad that you did something wrong, even though it doesn't necessarily mean that you did anything wrong. But if you can't stand the thought of someone being displeased with you, you'll be more likely to compromise your values and ignore your needs. Number five, you think self-care is optional. Practicing self-care doesn't really come naturally to you. You put yourself last and don't know how to ask for what you need. Most likely, you don't even know what you need. People pleasers are more prone to burn out because self-care comes after doing things right or perfectly, doing things for others, helping others, etc. Self-care is justified only when it's absolutely necessary. For example, when physically sick or burned out. But remember, self-care is a necessity, not a luxury. It's not something that you do if you have time for it or if you deserve it. Six, you don't admit when you feel bad. Denying that you're angry, sad, embarrassed or disappointed, even when you're emotionally wounded, makes it hard to form authentic relationships with people. You need to be willing to speak up sometimes and say that your feelings are hurt, otherwise your relationships will stay superficial. Number seven, you feel guilty or mean when you set boundaries. You feel like it's selfish or rude to set boundaries. For you, other people's needs are more important and your needs can wait. On a rare occasion when you do set a healthy boundary, you will probably feel good at first and then experience some self-doubt and guilt until, in the end, you abandon the newly created boundary because you feel too much guilt. 8. You've always been a good girl or a guy. 
You always want to be considered a good person. Even when someone hurts you or does something wrong, you think, well, at least I can do things right, so I'm a good person. Nine, you tend to avoid conflict at all costs. It one, it's one thing to want to start, not to want to start conflict and look for peace, but avoiding conflict at all costs means that you'll struggle to stand up for things and the people you really believe in. It means you'll abandon yourself and your needs to avoid any possibility of conflict. And 10. You need praise to feel good. While praise and kind words can make anyone feel good, people pleasers depend on validation. If your self-worth rests entirely on what others think about you, you'll only feel good when others shower you with compliments. If you recognize yourself in more than three of those signs, there's a high chance that you're a people pleaser. And people pleasing is a hard pattern to break, so I invite you to join Guided Growth Community where you will get the tools and knowledge to do so. And you'll do it in the best company too. Link is below the video.